What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is another hockey card video. And we're gonna be opening up this blaster box for 2021 Series 1 Upper Deck. I did one of these already. I absolutely loved the product. So while it was still on sale for the $21 plus tax, I decided to buy, buy this blaster box. So there is seven packs per box, eight packs per, eight cards per pack, sorry. Absolutely love this year's product, the look of it. Let's open these up here and we will start opening them. And this might be something that I want to go for a complete base set, but I am trying to collect other ones right now. So let's get right into it. Peter Mazrek. I love the look of the base cards. They just look phenomenal. Best looking cards since I started collecting in my opinion. Uh, Elvis Merzinklins, Nick Letty. We have a Young Guns for Alexander Alexivy. I probably butchered that name. Guaranteed his nickname in the NHL is going to be Alex Alex because that is hilarious. Why not? And I didn't even look at the backs of these uh, Young Guns yet. That looks really cool. I like this year's Young Guns. First look, I didn't like it when I seen it online. Seeing it in person, I absolutely love it. Michael Backlund. Alexander Barkov, uh, Travis Konecki, and James Neal. If I butcher names, I do apologize. It does happen with me from time to time. I think we're getting into some base compared to my last blaster box. We have Kadri, which is already a double. Alex Kerfoot, Darnell Nurse, Matt Zuccarello, <laughs> Mark Stone, Alex Stalock. Yadamoto, and Mitch Marner. These were all base, um, but not only were they all base, they're all doubles compared to my last unboxing that I did for Blaster Box. That is, uh, you know, not the greatest to me. I wish it was not all doubles, but it is what it is. We have Riley Smith, John Marino, Kempe, Perioko. All of those are doubles so far. We do have an insert for Dazzlers. Igor Shesterkin. I think I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> Lanscock, Morrissey, Connor Brown. Again, all doubles. All the base in the last two packs were doubles compared to my first unboxing for the Blaster Box. Alex Ifolo. Joe Pavelski, at least these aren't doubles. Jacob Troba, Quinn Hughes, look at that. That looks awesome. His first year after his rookie season. That looks really cool. I love that. Jonathan Druin, Tony D'Anglo, Kele Janrock, Ben Bishop. I like that. I like his pads. They look really cool there. Wow. I really like that card. I do collect and PC him. Next pack, and Nikita Gusev, Alex Ovechkin. That's really cool. I do PC him, Jake Gutstell, and we have an Alex Ovechkin upper deck portrait as well in the same pack. That's really cool. And as I mentioned before, at first when I seen these online, I did not like the portraits. I did not like the upper part here where it says portraits. Um, it just looked really odd, but I like how close it is, how clear it is for the face. So I really do like it. We have David Reach, uh, Miles Wood, Franz Nielsen, and we have Philip Gabaro. Two packs left, I believe. Marcus Johansson, double. Blake Coleman, Artem Anismov. These are all in, even in the same order. Not only are they doubles, but they're in the same exact order that I opened them last time. You guys can check my other unboxing video that I did. Uh, Nicole Ellers. We have Jonas Johansson. Young Guns. That's really cool. I did not get this one. At least it's not the inserts that are doubles as well. That would suck. But that's really cool. I like getting goalie cards and getting a goalie Young Guns is awesome in my opinion. I'll put it right on top. Ryan O'Reilly, Kipitar, and Tanev. Last pack here. We have Braden Points, Tyler Sagan, Adam Fox, Dylan Stromey, 
<laughs> all in the same, all doubles once again. That is terrible. Now, I do remember back whenever I was ordering from the Upper Deck store, if something like this happens, where I ordered two blaster boxes of the same product, and I got, well, basically all of these are doubles, and if I got that many doubles, they would send me not only a nether box, but they would also send me a care package with various cards and packs from various years, and I'd get great things from them. That's something that they used to do. Unfortunately, now I don't think that's something that Upper Deck does at all, because the last time I had an issue, I opened up a box. I think it was the rookie set for 2019-20 that I opened up. Um, There's two cards that was damaged. I had to send them clear photos of both those cards. I have to send it. I had to send a photo of the receipt. Luckily, I still had it. And there's supposed to be a code in the box, which my box did not have. And I'm still waiting to hear back from them. And it's been two weeks. So I might have to follow up. But definitely a little bit disappointed that all of these are doubles. And some of them, even the packs, is the same exact order. Now, they do say that all the packs, all the cards are randomly inserted. But when you get that many doubles, especially when they're in the same exact order from the previous box, that to me means they must not be as random as they say. But regardless, I still do like the product. Will I buy more? Maybe, but probably not in a blaster box. What I might look at is either a retail box or a hobby box in the future. I'm going to save up for one of those because I think they'd be great to open here on the channel. I might go for a complete set, but like I said, I have 2019 20 um, SP base that I'm looking to complete and 2017 to 2018 series one that I'm looking to complete. So before I even think about completing this set or going to try to complete this set, I want to complete those ones first. So if you guys enjoyed this hockey card video, I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.